just okay I'll, I'll say this where we're at um the, it shouldn't be hard at all for the trucks to gross three hundred thousand dollars in a year We had a subscriber ask, what is expedited trucking? I'm so lost, y'all. How is it different than being a regular over-the-road driver? I know my questions may be dumb, but I am just curious. First and foremost, your question is not dumb. A lot of people do not know what expedited trucking is. So in today's vlog, we're going to answer your question. Customer service. Oh, check the. We can check the phone to see. Living the nomad lifestyle is pretty cool, but one of the worst feelings in the world is leaving something of value behind. By the time we realized what we were missing, we were already 100 miles up the road, so we had to turn around, and hopefully. This drive wasn't a waste of fuel and our time. Oh, this is the worst feeling, one of the worst feelings ever. It's a good thing you got like a tracking uh, device, a tracking, sorry, a tracking app on your phone because if not how would you know and the thing is did any somebody could have called you know what i'm saying oh yeah because they see that you or maybe i don't know i just hope that the phone is in here in customer service and we can get it back that's the thing when you move around so much yeah. you can lose something at any time at any moment Because the phone kept changing. Hey, what's up? This is my company. This phone. And a purple case. This one? Yes. All right, that'll be $100. No, so sir. We just drove 100 miles to get this phone. $100. <laughs> he said $100. <laughs> this is your life. You can't lose your I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, Carla, what did I say? Oh, yeah. I told Carla, I said, if we find your phone, <laughs> we get to do Christmas shopping. See how it say phone walk? Yes. That's the good thing about that app. What about it? So what app did you use? Uh, I think it's called findmyphone.com or something uh -huh. like that. You had to register first? Um, it's the Samsung. It's a Samsung feature. Oh, okay. Color lights or gold lights? Uh, I really like just a solid color. I don't like too many colors. Remember how I told you? Look, this is different. It's pink mini lights. That but might be dope. Different. Or ooh, red mini lights. <laughs> I think I want to do red. morning everyone oh man Carla just put us in a parking spot a legal parking spot yeah <laughs> cuz um, we got here so late that this entire place was full 
and uh believe it or not y'all we're still here um i don't know <laughs> i don't know uh how long we're gonna be here but we've been looking at things that come through the low board i think she gotta go out and um and um and nothing has been catching our eye i'm just gonna be real with you i'm maybe they can see maybe they can oh he's leaving yeah, the other man on the side of him just left too. Yeah, see, and that's the thing about expediting. Um, it's a lot more sitting than track the trail. <laughs> He's like, thank you, dude. <laughs> well, all I know, guys, I don't know when we're going to get a load out of here, but Carla, I think we should get ready to um decorate our truck finally. <laughs> guys that was a bus because the tape that we have which is this wall safe scotch tape is not strong enough to hold the lights up so we're gonna have to do a little bit more research to find something that is strong enough to hold the lights up and also not put damage to the truck so um I guess that's supposed I don't even want to do 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 it right now because I want to do everything. Um so I don't know. It's crazy cuz it was so cold when we were at the beach. We couldn't even really enjoy it, but now, here at the truck stop, it feels great. Uh, someone just asked on our YouTube channel, what is straight truck expediting? And um, I'm sure the more I do it, I'll have a better definition of it. But uh, to me, straight truck expediting is um, when you get the, for where we're working at, when you get the load, you got to get it there ASAP to the customer. It's something that they need right away. Um, but in our case of where we're working, it's um, exclusive use. Meaning, whatever, whichever customer uh, booked the truck, only their load will be on the truck. That's why a lot of times you see us uh, hauling loads that's like 150 pounds or shoot 20 pounds um or even up to to fifteen thousand pounds you know what i'm saying um so it's exclusive what we're at is exclusive use on the customer book the team as well as the truck is their their truck for that time being of of them using the truck for the load and um a lot of times they needed to be there in like a day or or, or how however soon that you can get it there they needed their asap and then some in some cases they're really high value loads where they really wouldn't trust having their whatever it is their piece say it's a, a, a once in a lifetime piece of art or you know something like that that you wouldn't trust just putting in um, a truckload full of freight that needs to go to different places and getting fumbled all around and, and dropped and it's like we handle it with care so when they book us not only do they know that they're going to get it there on time and in a very fast a very fast time um, but they know it's going to be well taken care of um, expediting a lot of the times um, they require teams because the the ELD you know the the regulations if you're solo you can't really move you're not as flexible as a team is so um so yeah a lot of times now there are solo expediters There's a lot of people been asking that question too are there solo expediters there are solo expediters but a lot of times when i see on um our low board for certain loads say for example if it's like a load where a solo could run it they say that um the solo person must have their full clock available okay i think my camera current turned off so i don't know where i left off but let me just try to give a little summary so uh in our case straight truck expediting 
is um, freight that needs to get there ASAP. Um, in our case, it's exclusive use. So whoever books us, whatever customer books us, most likely it's only going to be their load on the truck. Whether you have one little bitty piece of a box or a piece of paper or envelope, or you have something humongous. Um, um, and so, I, and when I think of less than truckload, I'm still trying to understand the difference between that less than truckload and uh, what we do because less than truckload, of course, is something that doesn't need to go in like a, a huge 53 foot trailer. But I also think that less than truckload still have um, things mixed up from different customers. If I'm wrong, then go ahead and correct me. But in our case, like I said, it's exclusive use, meaning only the customer you only the customer stuff is going to be on our truck and um and like i said we got to get it there asap no playing around with it um, which we still have plenty of time on the loads there's no rushing or anything like that and it's a lot more sitting um it's a lot more sitting but you can do that when the loads are paying what they pay um some of these loads um like some of these loads uh let's see just okay i'll, I'll say this where we're at um it shouldn't be hard at all for the trucks to gross three hundred thousand dollars in a year that's gross um at least three hundred thousand dollars a year and that's only working nine months out of the year so hopefully that um is a good example that's a, an example um i've heard before but it shouldn't be an issue um to gross three hundred thousand dollars in a year as well as you're only and that's you only working nine months out of the year because there are some seasons where it's really slow and we're actually coming into that season where it's about to slow down heavily which me and carla's cool with that like i said we're good at saving our money uh and we have multiple streams of income too thank god for that um uh and i really think a lot of people should consider that building having multiple streams of income um and it's just like it's more relaxed so it's a lot of times that if you do come out here in the straight truck expediting world it's a lot of times you're going to be sitting at truck stops and you're going to see these truckers going in and out in and out you're just kind of sitting there watching tv cooking a good meal um and it's just a part of life and um i remember when we first came out here they were telling us that a lot of truck drivers when they transition into this world they can't stand it so a lot of times what happen is they they feel like they're not making money or they feel like um they should be moving more than what they should um but me and carla shit we chilling <laughs> like don't get me wrong we work our ass off when we need to but if we gotta chill we chilling like Lowe's is coming through today nothing worth our time like nothing worth our time we're not freaking out we're not you know feeling like lazy or anything like that we're just enjoying ourselves and this is something i can see myself doing for a long time as well as getting a truck getting our own truck um also as well as i don't know how, how far i could go we may even i don't know i don't know what the, the 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 there's no limits but we really we really found something that we like and we want to stick with it long term and with this company which is again why we don't put the company out there because we want to be here for a very long time all right, Nikki, let's go. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, and leave a comment below because we read all of our comments. We hope to see you all tomorrow at the same time because this is Vlogmas. Thanks everyone for your love and support. Hey.